Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 16.3 update on my iPhone 13. So as you can see from the screenshot, it came in about 643.5 MB on my iPhone 13. And if you're having any iPhone starting from iPhone 8, 8 Plus to iPhone 14, 14 Pro Max, and if you're using iOS 16, then definitely you will get iOS 16.3. So the size of the update might vary for you. So for iPhone 13, it came in about 643.5 and also it varies if you're coming from iOS 16.2 it will be a couple of you know 100 megabytes but if you're coming from ios 16 older versions then it could be in gigabytes as well so keep that in mind now with that being said let's have a look at this update ios 16.3 and let's talk about what are new with ios 16.3 what are the new features and what are the bug fixes that apple has mentioned and brought with this ios 16.3 update so make sure you watch this video till the end but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on this channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first if i go to the settings general and about section as you can see the ios version it says ios 16.3 and if i tap on that so the new build number is 20 d47 and if you look at the you know information that is provided here so it says this update introduces a new unity wallpaper which i'll talk about uh, in the later part of the video and apart from that what are the new features that are available with ios 16.3 update so it also said it introduces new security keys for apple id and includes other enhancement as well so if you take a look at this update as well so the same thing is mentioned here so if you're coming from ios 16.2 or any previous version of ios 16 so definitely you will have all these new features now talking about you know before updating as you can see there is a new modem firmware update as well before updating it was 2.21.00 and if i show you now as you can see from 2.21.00 it has been updated to 2.40.01 so yes coming from ios 16.2 to ios 16.3 you will have a new modem firmware update so that means if you are having any network issues or connectivity related issues there are chances that apple has tried to fix those with the new modem firmware so now let's talk about the new features one by one so first talk about the uh, new wallpaper right so if i go to the wallpaper add new wallpaper just you know scroll down here there is a new unity section so this wallpaper was there before but this is the new wallpaper that apple has added as a you know new thing with ios 16.3 so this is the wallpaper basically it is unity and if you swipe left you have you know multiple colors available black red orange green so on and so forth not only you uh, get this color options if you tap on the clock then you get different fonts you can apply the fonts and basically you can do all your regular customization that you can do with you know other wallpapers as well so that's a new thing that you have a new wallpaper with ios 16.3 update apart from that the main thing is if you tap on your name and you know if you click on this icloud there is this advanced data protection so with ios 16.2 apple had this advanced data protection but this was not turned on for you know all the countries now with ios 16.3 if you want you can click on this turn on advanced data protection it will give you the you know some of the messages and warnings what you need to do and what you don't need to do and you know some information and then you can set up your account recovery now this is directly you know uh, linked with your adding security keys which i'm going to talk next so for adding security keys oh, this is kind of a two-factor authentication that apple has added with ios 16.3 not only you know you just have to put your password if you want to try to log in your you know apple id then apart from putting the password you have to have a physical security key which you will be setting up initially you have to have that key it could be nfc key or you, know, you could just have it plugged in if it is having the lightning stick so you can do that so if you go to password and security and as you can see you have this add security keys if you click on add security keys 
it shows you the information now you know it's a two factor authentication kind of a thing it's a, a fido certified security key is a third party hardware that you can use to two factor authenticate when you sign in so it requires a pair of key not only one you require two keys so if you click on add security keys it will you know it it clearly says that you need two security keys so this is basically a two factor authentication stuff so looks like apple is you know mostly focusing mostly you know more into the security stuff you know turning on the advanced data protection and you know introducing the two factor authentication with the physical keys so looks like apple is taking care of the security pretty well so apart from that there are not many changes there were a couple of bug fixes as well these are the few you know new features that have been introduced with ios 16.3 new wallpaper advanced data protection and in your know, security keys so those things are new with ios 16.3 now talking about the bugs which have been resolved apple has talked about this freeform application which apple introduced with ios 16.2 update so for few people this was not working properly if you you know just type something here or if you just draw something here it was not appearing on the other apple devices like ipad and iphone if you have them synced with this device so those issues have been fixed but the main thing is that we have been seeing uh, you know jitteriness stutteriness you know after few days of the update right so this has been the issue for a very long time now i am also eager to see whether ios 16.3 fix that because you know just after you install the update the update works fine for few days but generally it returns after few days of using the phone then once you you know go through the menu some people have complained they are facing the lag and also stutter when you are just scrolling through the ui so i'm hoping that this should be resolved with ios 16.3 now let's talk about the battery life as well since this is my primary phone i have been testing with ios 16 updates so if i click on the battery and click on battery health and charging as you can see the battery health capacity is 100% so i have been using this device for last 4 to 5 months so battery health hasn't dropped for me after updating to ios 16.3 and also if i take a look at the battery graph here as you can see these are the updates with ios 16.2 so i have just installed the ios 16.3 update yesterday night so i need to use ios 16.3 for a couple of days in order to give you how's the battery with ios 16.3 on this iphone 13 so you know definitely wait for the battery life and performance follow up review on iphone 13 for this ios 16.3 but talking about the battery life uh, for last 10 days as you can see the screen on and screen off time ios 16.2 has been sort of average in terms of battery life with this iphone 13 i would say so expecting a similar or a at least better battery life with ios 16.3 and you know some of you were also interested about the geekbench 5 score so after i updated i ram the geekbench 5 score the scores are pretty similar with ios 16.2 the single core score came in about for this iphone 13 is 1737 and the multi core score came in about 4541 let me know in the comment section below uh, if you're using iphone 13 and what are the geekbench 5 scores for you so the performance at the moment is smooth but definitely follow up review will you know tell us more about how's the performance what are the bugs that got fixed and what are the bugs that you know uh, we can actually experience after using it for few days so definitely wait for that video so then again that's it for this video with the help of this video i just wanted to highlight that we have received a new ios update ios 16.3 so definitely do update to ios 16.3 So that's it for this video. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.